Welcome to Truth Talks TV. We are in the month of October and we are just taking a moment to bring awareness to breast cancer. It is something that has wreaked havoc on families and we just want to provide the opportunity for women, men, families to not only share their story, but to get insight, to learn what the journey is like and to offer encouragement and hope because there is hope. So thank you for joining us for another episode of Truth Talks TV. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Truth Talks TV. We are here with the beautiful Miss Demoya, who's going to talk about her experience and her victory in overcoming breast cancer. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm so excited that you're just so able to share your story to give hope to somebody else who may be going through or maybe just found out maybe that it's a possibility or they may have found that it's in the family or, you know, and there's a lot of fear sometimes surrounding that topic, but you are a living, breathing example of hope for somebody else. So really excited to have you. And I'd love to hear your story. Yeah. It's my pleasure. You know, what you just spoke of about fear is totally accurate. When Mm. I first heard the diagnosis, Um, I literally felt like I was underwater. Like there was this heaviness that just came over me. And it was the day before my uh, 10th wedding anniversary that we got the news. Um, I had my twin daughters with me at the appointment. My husband was there. And um, there was uh, just a lack of empathy all around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about the devastating impact of this kind of diagnosis. And I left that appointment feeling angry, you know, because I'm at a point in my life where I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom. Um, I'm living, you know, as far as I think for God, you know, um, you know, enjoying my marriage, enjoying my children. And I'm 37 years old, like, Mm -hmm how does this happen? Right. And um, one of the key things that I have to mention um, about black women is that we're told that we have denser breasts. And because of this, uh, it can be more difficult to diagnose breast cancer in all of its different forms. And so whether or not you have a a family history of breast cancer, I just want to say it's very important to know whether or not you have dense breasts. Because that could be the caveat that would propel you to get an examination earlier in your life rather than later. I know for a lot of women, the threshold is like 50 years old, 45 Mm -hmm. years old. But at 37, I mean, what? And I I know people who've been diagnosed at 18, 19, 25, 32. Mm -hmm. um, And these are all things that I've learned on my journey. But for me specifically, because I had most recently finished uh, nursing uh, my twins, I had symptoms that are not so far-fetched to occur with women who nurse. So, you know, you've got maybe a little nipple pain, maybe you've got a little discharge here that could be just, you know, your breast kind of releasing um, leftover milk or what have you. So I'm thinking, oh, eh, it, and I've been through this. You know, this, is my, this was my third pregnancy. But in fact, there were some other things at work that I wasn't aware of. And Mm -hmm. my first mammogram detected nothing. They said, oh, we'll see you in six months. You're good. The pain didn't go away. I was prescribed an antibiotic and a cream because there was a rash. And Mm -hmm. uh, my doctor, after about two weeks of this treatment, I came back and said, nothing has changed. And he said, we're going to send you right now for another mammogram and an ultrasound. And believe it or not, they actually saw it at this second mammogram. So this is like a month later. Mm. So we went from, oh, we'll see you in six months to this looks like breast cancer. Wow. And it wasn't stage zero, one or two. We were stage three at this point. The needle during my biopsy bent as it 
as they pull the needle out from checking one of the masses in my breast, it actually bent. And I heard the physician say, do you see this? This is incredible. So there were a lot of things that were just astounding. Mm -hmm. Through it all, God is so good. Yes. One of the things that I prayed and I pray that anyone going through this challenge does is that I pray, God, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't know where I need to be for treatment. Um, and I don't want to make a decision based out of convenience. Mm -hmm. Who's the doctor that I need to be with? Who yes. is the surgeon? Who is the clin clinical team that you want me to be with during this time? And I just gave that to him and I prayed and he sent me an answer through my oncologist to the point where I was convinced that this is where I needed to be. Um, he's not Christian. He, he happens to be a, a Jewish, um, but we struck up a relationship. And one of the things that he said, he said, you know, I don't know everything. He said, but I will do everything that I can. Yeah. Learn as much as I can and be up to date on all of the new discoveries so that I can be the best physician for you. And there was a sense of assurance that came through with his promise. And he has not, he has not stumbled, not once, not twice, even though there've been many therapies, um, just going down the list. I won't give you the exact <laughs> names of a lot of these therapies, but there've been about 12 different medications um, that I've, had to take via chemo. I've also had 37 rounds of radiation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it sounds like a lot, but to be honest, it was just a daily, this is what we're, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to get through this because God is mm -hmm. with me. I, Lord, I don't know why this came to my doorstep. I don't know why I have to be the spokesperson for this, but help me. And he has strengthened me with the support of my family, my husband, our relationship has evolved and grown um, in a way that it has been a blessing to us both. And of course, people look at me, like, I don't know how you do. We don't know either. Right. <laughs> you right. know, I can't tell you what it is that we're doing. But I do know that trusting in God every day and being grateful. Yes. yes. Yeah. Gratitude. For yeah. every single day day that we're blessed with has been a tremendous life changer for us. And I made a promise about a year ago that I was going to stay in a place of gratitude and thanksgiving no matter what. And just hearing my children say things like, I'm just glad that I got up this morning, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know it's, it's trickling yeah. to them because they're, they're realizing that every day is a gift. Yes. And it's a blessing. And so instead of looking at my life and thinking, you know, oh gosh, what could I be missing out on? You know, I thank God for what he's done in, in this, because in mm -hmm. this, I, I started a juice business um, mm -hmm. called Fresh Press. Wow. And yes, I did. Because I, I learned a lot about health and nutrition and yeah. One of the things that is really important is getting micronutrients. So not just fiber, but we're talking about vitamins and minerals that come through in the fruits and vegetables. Well, um, I had some cousins who said, as I started this journey, is there anything we can get for you during this time mm -hmm. that you may can't get for yourself right now? And I said, well, I would really like to have a juicer. And mm -hmm. they're like, okay. And it started with just juicing for me and it turned into, oh, wow. And so I would get these breaks in treatment and I would be able to have more energy and I, and the juice business just it started to flow. And, and I did that for about a year and a half. And then um, recently, just this past November, we switched my treatment and I was like, OK, God, this treatment is really taking a lot out of me. Like, what is going on? And that could have been a moment for me to be like, ugh. I'm losing something yet again, but it hasn't been. It's been an opportunity for me to treat myself a little bit kinder. You yes. know, sometimes we 
take things a little bit too far. We we get a little bit and then we start burning the candle at both ends. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. A little bit of energy. We think, oh, oh yeah, I'm back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, God was like, wait a minute. Right, Don't hold up. <laughs> about all of the things that you've learned along the way. You're starting to put people in front of you again. No, mm. don't do that. And so much of what we do as women, as caregivers, is mm -hmm. put everyone in front of us, not realizing that, you know, that scripture that says to love your neighbor as yourself. How do you love yourself? Do you really treasure yourself? Or are you putting your neighbor's needs or your family member's needs or your children's needs in front of your own? And what does that say about how you love you? Because we have to get to a place where we realize we're worthy. We're yeah. worthy of the extra time that it takes to get ready. We're worthy of the extra, um, I guess, resources to eat better. Uh, yeah. And it's not just about looking good on the outside, but it's about how you're nourishing and treating your body on the inside. Are you taking the time to cry when you need to mm. release those emotions? Or are you stuffing it down because you want to be present for somebody else. No, be present for yourself. Yes. Mm. Talk about it. Be it. present for yourself. And uh, this has been quite the learning experience because I grew up in a family where mama did everything, <laughs> everything. And, and she didn't miss a beat. And this is an attribute that we're looking up to, that I'm mm -hmm. looking up to as a woman, only to realize that there are some aspects to that that don't serve me. And how do I transition out of that attitude into a place where I'm not last on the list? Mm. I'm not mm -hmm. last on That's the good. list. So um, hey, I, there's so much in this experience that I could share. But um, for me, th those are like the core things that I've come yes. away from this with loving myself deeper, more truer. And um, realizing that saying no is a oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> you know, I got excited with that one. No is a whole sentence. It is. Let your yes be yes and your no be no, right? Yes. That's it. That's it. So, That's it. You know, it, it, it is okay to, to not show up for someone else because you need mm -hmm. to show up for yourself. Yes. Mm. yes. That's okay. Wow. I'm just so blown away at how much gratitude you've expressed, you know, right. And, and, I'm, and I'm not taking, you know, anything away from the experience as far as I know there were painful moments. Mm -hmm. I know there were yes. moments where you may have cried like, God, why, why, yes. why I'm doing everything I can. Mm -hmm. But to hear yeah, your yeah. story of your testimony to say from this, I learned number yes. one, to love me, yeah. show up for me. Yes. And it's okay. That's the part that was just, mm. and I'm going to be honest. Ooh, something's in my eye. <laughs> but in that moment, it was so freeing for me just right. to hear you say that yes. because yeah. these are the things that we know, but when it clicks and it's like, and it's okay. Right. It that's right. when it's, it's like so okay. liberating mm -hmm. for me yeah. because you went, mm, thank you, God. You went through a journey and God showed you his marvelous his marvelous mm -hmm. grace and yes. from that you were able to say I have to love me yeah and it's okay to love me and I think that part for me was so powerful uh so liberating yes. Yes. and it it almost in a sense gives me I'll say it this way gives me permission yes. in a sense you know yes. to do what God has already said you know yes. it's okay to love me yes. and be okay with that yes it is. Oh, I just, I just, that it just, that just really blessed me. And this also that really blessed me. It, it, Thank it's you. also amazing that you shared that you started a business and your mm. business is while you're being healed, you're healing others through yes. your, your juicing. And that's, yes. that's yeah. amazing. Like you didn't just sit. And I know there were moments where it was just like, woe is me. And that's fine. You know, we're human. <laughs> we're human. Yeah. Beings. yeah. I know you wonder why, like, you know, we, I've known you for a long time. You had a, you mm -hmm. have a powerful, uh, dance ministry so to go from serving god <laughs> and yeah. preaching and prophesying and coming from a prophetic household to yes. this i i totally understand the questions and like people mm -hmm. say oh don't ask god questions or you should never question god i don't believe that i feel like he's yeah. our father and you mm -hmm. should be able to ask god yes. why. 
He said, come, let us reason together. Yes, he did. You know, and, and so you're absolutely right. And I had some big questions. Yeah. Um, and uh, actually, and I recommend to anybody who encounters um, a diagnosis such as this to do this. But I took um, about three days. Um, the ministry that I founded, Uplift, sponsored me to go and fast mm-hmm. and pray for three days away mm-hmm. from my family. Um, my sister came to help with the kids and it was just me and God and some yeah. water and coffee and tea. And, <laughs> you know, and it it really was a tremendous time because I had so much fear. I had so much trepidation. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking he's going to download, you know, do this, do that, da, da, da. But it was really a moment for him to show me how much he loved me. Wow. Wow. There were some tremendous wow. revelations that came out of that. Hmm. Um, that will be in a book at some time. Some yeah. point. Yes. Um, there was also just the quiet in me realizing that my lack of focus on him was really kind of a rejection of his love for me. Mm. And me rejecting his love is also me not allowing him to show me how to love myself. Ooh. Wow. That's helping somebody. Wow. That's I know that's helping somebody. We yeah. love him, right? We love him because he first loved us. 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 Well, that's allow him to show us what that love looks like. That's so good. And, and, and you know, I one of my girlfriends, she teaches... Um, Bible study and she looked at Mary and Martha as an example mm-hmm. and said you know we often look at Mary as as just kind of being self-absorbed and and forgetting about Martha and leaving Martha off to the <laughs> wayside but what was Martha's motivation right was right. it and what 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 we realized in looking at both of these I want I don't want to say characters but both of these women <laughs> is is that they both were motivated by a need for love Mm -hmm. but mary took her need for love to the father yes and martha's need for love was taken to doing everything for everybody right kind of receiving the accolades that come from that and so even though they both were seeking love we have to take that need for love to the father Mm. and not anywhere else and so he showed me Namoya, you don't have to be everything to everybody. Mm. To be loved. You don't have to make every deadline and every meeting and every appointment and, 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 and be there for every game and every show mm-hmm. and every. No, that doesn't have to be who you are. Even though it's a part of me, he was like, don't forget about you, though. Yeah. Don't forget about you. And so I remember walking and just making these declarations yes. one day. And I was like, I am loved. I'm cared for. I'm mm-hmm. chosen. And Holy Spirit said, you are worthy. Yes. Wow. You are worthy. And that word alone just kind of took me out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was like, oh, wait, I am. But all that that meant in that moment was that I had not seen myself as worthy. Mm. for so long and even putting off doctor's appointments mm-hmm. that's why why do we do that <laughs> go to the yeah. doctor yes tell them again yourself. say that again you know yeah. and get get things checked out if yes. you're just like you know we we have these memes about that tooth in the back no get that tooth checked out okay yeah. you know you're it in in one of the things that i said at a session that i was at a few weeks ago um, a women's session was, is that we, we have for so long not been well in our mm-hmm. body, in our minds that we don't even really know what it is to be well. Wow. And so when those indicators are going off in our body and in our mind, we're so busy turning off the notification. Wow. Mm. Wow. Like, oh, I don't, I don't, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. But really that's your body and your mind speaking to you saying, check on us. Mm -hmm. on us yeah so we really have to um relearn and unlearn some habits that we've developed over the course of our lives so that we can treat ourselves better Mm. wow powerful (sighs) just help me on today i mean literally i don't know if i've shed as many tears as i've had in in a single episode because i'm just like wow god 
this was for me. I have to thank you for sharing this because you hit on my personality to a T. <laughs> and I said, my God, <laughs> mm-hmm. she's blessing me, you know, and you're sharing hope and awareness with everyone else. And I'm like, like Kiki yeah. said, it's so perfectly while you were in the place of being healed, you were healing others and you're continuing right, to heal. Right. Yes, I am. Just sharing. And yes. I'm like, wow, God, yeah. like in my I mind, <laughs> I don't like going to the doctors. I don't. So I'm thinking, I got you. appointment. Yep. There, get your appointment, sis. Get the yeah. physical, you know, yeah. find out and find out what works <sighs> for you. Yeah. We're all different. Yes. And this diagnosis, I throughout my journey, I've met so many different women yeah. um, with different forms of cancer, um, different forms of breast cancer, different subtypes of breast cancer. And we have all responded to treatment differently. You know, some respond well, some don't um, to different therapies. But what is important is that you stay in that moment and track your awareness of how your body is responding. Yeah. And because like I said, so often we're used to treating the notifications our body is giving us as a nuisance. And so we don't, we don't pay attention to it because it's <laughs> inconvenient, right? Mm-hmm. Coming up in the middle of life. Right. And, and that doesn't really work for us. But right. it, if we're not well, then we can't support others. That's right. right? True. We really, wow. we really can. And if our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. let's think mm-hmm. about how we're treating that body. Yeah. What we're putting in that body. And, wow. and so we got to grow out of this whole spiritual that, oh, it's just about sin. Yes. So not yeah. treating your body well. What do you think that is? Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Listening to your own self. That was so good. So we have to really shift our focus a little bit and not get so churchy about some of these principles and talk apply about it in a practical way. Practical. Wow. We have to, because at the end of the day, we're going to be in this body until we leave this planet. Yeah, absolutely. This body is our license to be on this. Earth. Exactly. We mm. No more. We gone. Mm-hmm. So how do we treat this body better? How do we treat this mind better? How do we deal with the issues of our hearts yes. so that we can really um, be present, but also be purposeful mm-hmm. in every step that we take in our lives here? Amazing. Mm. Wow. I know. It, it's, it's, I don't even want to say this anything. Drop mic, walk off stage. Yeah. Like, I just I want mean, to go in a corner and cry and just be and in a onesie. Don't, don't just, go in I've been crying the whole time. Just don't reflect, even look at my like, glasses. I'm glad I got these glasses on because you can't see. Because I'm telling I mean, you. This was deep, powerful. I know that mm-hmm. those who are listening now are going to do some soul searching and make some doctor's appointments. And Definitely. we want your book to come out because I know that's going to bless people. Oh, yay. We just know oh, that you're a lot of writing to do. Oh, yes. Yeah. And if you need help, I'm here for you. I can help you out I with can. that. Definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> This, is, this has been amazing and I appreciate the opportunity to share because wow. a lot of us, we do this in silence. Mm. We deal with it in silence. I met a woman who said she didn't tell any of her family <gasps> or her friends about what she was going through. Jesus. And she was like in full chemo. Oh my mm. goodness. And How- I was like, I can't even imagine. And I gave her the biggest hug that I could. And I just told her, you are worthy of the support. Yes. Of the help. You do not have to do this alone. Yes. And isn't that like the first thing they say is to get your support team to yes. have a support team? Because yes. I can't. That's true. I can't, I can't imagine, imagine yeah. dealing with yeah. that alone. By but yourself. I, I, from I, I feel like fear. I feel like fear can prevent you too. Yes. Because you, you're faced with a lot of questions. People don't yeah. understand. People's emotions don't help. And sometimes yes. people's responses. Like people don't know yeah. what to say sometimes. That's so like true. People say some dumb stuff. That's so And that true. don't help. <laughs> mm. No, it doesn't. And disappointment too. Yeah. If yes. You've been disappointed true. in the past with mm-hmm. others supporting you and helping you. Yes. That's true too. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm, also taking like pity that. on you. You know. Yes. That's oh, major. Yeah. That's major. Disappointment. That is a big thing. And having false expectations that people will be there for you, like in the 
heavy moment where you really need yeah. them and then That's they're true. not. It's like, I so wish I, I would have never it. told you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Wow. But I think for me, um, and, and I did take some time to push some people away. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. I did because a lot of it was even too much for myself. Mm-hmm. And I told um, two of my girlfriends, we're super close from college. I said, mm-hmm. you know, the reason why I didn't want to tell you guys is because I didn't want you to be on this roller coaster with me. With me. I wanted yeah. to like, yeah. if I was going to give you info, I wanted it to be positive. I wanted it mm-hmm. to be uplifting. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what? One of my girlfriends said, she was like, girl, I'm here for all the roller coasters. Oh, you wanted to protect her. It. See, yes, that's a part of that nurturing. Part love of it. And, yeah. and that's, that's my personality. It's like, I don't want to tell you because I don't want to put you through I this. Know. And it's my burden. And I, I, I just want to moth my way out of everything. Because that's me. I just want to serve, yeah. give, give, love, serve. And God is like, hello. No, receive. Come to me. Come to me. <laughs> and that's the hardest part receive. for me. That's why when you were talking, right. I was like, oh, my God. Does me yeah. so I can I can totally understand that you know um and as well as the disappointment you know because yeah. that that mm-hmm. it, it's like as soon as I tell you there's an inbuilt expectation like I mm-hmm. told you so right. now I'm expecting right. you to kind of yeah. do something you know <laughs> like I don't want to hey can you take me to my appointment yeah. hey can you drive me back because I'm yeah. gonna be exhausted you and worn ask. out you know yeah, it's like you ask what you mean and like, then you start to feel like a burden and they're just like you know what never mind I don't no, want to tell anybody no you know, don't it's, ever it's, feel it's, like that it's you deserve yeah. to right. be cared for. Cared for. Like, mm-hmm. That's what we really, at the end of the day, oh, I love have this. to accept. Mm. We deserve the care. Yeah, we deserve the Worthy. love. Mm-hmm. We're we, absolutely, mm-hmm. and that has been. And and it's okay to ask for the help. And what it forced me to do was really drill down to what I wanted, yeah. not what somebody wanted to give me. Oh, that's so good. Um, it's forced me to think of every decision. Okay. What do I need out of this? Mm -hmm. And let me be bold enough to ask for that because what someone might be offering, you may not be supportive in what you need at that moment. And it's okay to even say no to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No to some, some offers to, I'm like, I don't really need that. No, (laughs) you know, this is what you need. And to be okay with that. Right, right. right. And to be okay with that. (laughs) That's the takeaway. I feel like I'm I'm being bougie or something. Right, right. I'm guilty. Oh, no, I should have just (laughs) took what they gave me. No, 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 no. Exactly. But we got to share some of that that nonsense as well. Because that's Mm -hmm. foolishness. What do you you mean I want to take when I'm giving you? Right, because then they feel rejected. You don't want it for yourself. Don't, don't give, give it to me. Oh, that's Thank good. You. Thank Ooh, you. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Don't give it to somebody that's else. That's good. That's so. good. We just think, let's just give them whatever. And it's like, would you mm. take it? Right. You know, that's good. Exactly. Wow. So we just want to thank you so much for joining us. You're, I'm going to just be thinking about this all day, all yeah. night. Um, I really appreciate you, your transparency, sharing your heart, being fearless, because I know this is going to help people know that you are in our prayers that we are cheering you on we're uplifting you if you need anything a lot of people say if you need anything let me know we really mean it we do if you need anything just reach out like we checking on you we praying for you your family because everyone is is impacted so we're just Mm -hmm. praying your strength that um we will see a mighty victory in jesus in jesus name and we already are because as i said earlier that um, well, I shared on social media not too long ago that we mm-hmm. were seeing tremendous progress. Amen. Drug that um, I'm taking now is called Tradelvi um, for anyone who is dealing with um, a, a breast cancer that has spread or met- metastatic breast cancer. It's an amazing drug for me right now. Mm-hmm. What is super important is also that Black women realize. Um, and I'm just putting it out there. Yes. A lot of trials don't include us. A lot of mm-hmm. trials don't include women of color. And so the devastating news that immunotherapy didn't work played into the fact that there may not have been women that looked like me in that clinical trial. Mm-hmm. Even though the mm-hmm. science said it was effective, 
It didn't say it was effective for women like me. I understand. And so it's important that we are aware of what is out there for us. And when the opportunities come up for us to participate in these trials, that we be a part of it. Yes. We cannot just be well for ourselves, but so that we could see this whole disease eradicated. In Jesus name. Yes, Jesus yes, name. yes, 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 yes. That was great. That was a great jewel for real. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What an amazing show. Thank you, yes. ladies. Thank you. Thank you. This has been another episode of Truth Talks TV. We are bringing awareness to breast cancer. If you know anyone or if you yourself are dealing with this, reach out. We're here to support you. We're praying for you. We're cheering you on. I'm sure that Namoya is available to provide any type of insight. Um, support her business. If you're, if you, are you still, are you still doing juices? We are actually on a little break for right okay. now. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we, we want you to leave your information you in the comments. Support. Yeah, you can absolutely support me specifically in any other way, and I'm yes. available to talk to you and walk you through what can be done wherever you are, whatever step you are in the journey. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for much. joining us, everyone. Thank you for joining us. That's Truth Talks TV. Amen.